what is the definition of this nucleides first the word nucleide was coined by truman p coman here he defined nucleide as a species of atom characterized by the constitution of its nucleus see here the species of atom which is characterized by the constitution of its nucleus see see this diagram here is a nucleus inside the nucleus protons and neutrons are present and in the outer spheres electrons are present this word nucleide only concentrates on the constitution constitution of its nucleus that is it's only concentrates on the number of neutrons and protons only it does not concentrate on the outer sphere here let's read this definition once again the species of atom characterized by the constitution of its nucleus only containing a certain number of neutrons and protons so the term originally focused on the nucleus without relation to the outer sphere see here this term nucleide is only focused on the nucleus only that is on the number of protons and neutrons but this word nucleide is not having any relation to the outer sphere that is on the electrons just simply remember that nucleide means neutrons plus protons that's it now let's consider a symbol of chemical element here say that is x here is a z here z represents the number of protons or it is a atomic number whereas this a represents total number of protons and neutrons we can say it as mass number here z is the number of protons that is atomic number a is total number of protons and neutrons it is mass number see it is the symbol of any chemical element here is the z that means number of protons here is a mass number that is a here so a is equals to z plus n that is i have already said it here total number of protons and neutrons that is a is equals to total number of protons protons means z neutrons means n so a is equals to z plus n that is mass number is equals to number of protons plus number of neutrons here a is the mass number z is the proton we can also say it, say it as atomic number and n is the neutron see here if we need to calculate the total number of neutrons then this formula becomes a minus z is equals to n this z is shifted towards this side so it becomes minus z that is a minus z is equals to n here in this example let's consider two nucleides of the phosphorus that is p1531 p1532 these are the two nucleides of phosphorus so here you can see this this 15 is z and this 31 is a that is z is z is proton so in the phosphorus the number of proton is equals to 15 in this nucleide you can see the number of proton that is z is equals to 15 now we have got the number of protons now we have to calculate the number of neutrons we know the formula that is a minus z is equals to n is the formula to count the total number of neutrons see here in the first nucleide of the phosphorus a is 31 that is total number of protons and neutron is rep is represented by a a is 31 minus we know that the proton number is represented by z it is 15 so 31 minus 15 is is equals to 16 in the nucleid first nucleid of the phosphorus now coming to this nucleid let's calculate it here a minus z is equals to n so here a is 32 minus z is 
so it will become n is equals to 17 so the total number of neutrons in the second nuclear of the pasporus is 17 this is about the two nucleates of pasporus having 15 protons each and 16 and 17 neutrons respectively so this is about the sum of the introduction of for the nucleides